separate them as such in other questions hopefully. Now question 13. How would you arrange the following bonds in order of increasing the ionic character? Okay. Arrange in order of increasing ionic character. All right. So for this, what we actually have to do is um, we have CF. OF, HF, and NAF, okay? So, to figure out the increase in ionic character, we actually deal with just the electronegativity, starting with CF, okay? Remember that question we solved earlier where we figured out uh, whether uh, carbon tetrafluoride uh, you will be able to find that in another video, but point being is that we were able to see there that they were polar bonds, but it wasn't a polar molecule. Um, here we're just going to expand on that. So we have here 3.98 for the um, electronegativity of fluorine, which is actually what everyone is using here. So we're actually going to list out just the other one instead. So carbon is 2.55. So 3.98 minus 2.55, you want to know the difference. So the difference here is 1.43. Oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.44. We have 0 0.54. HF, okay. Hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.20 and sodium just so we can save time a little bit has 0 0.93 okay so hydrogen and fluorine we have 3.98 minus 2.20 1.78 and sodium fluoride 0.93 yeah, 3.05. So, to arrange an order of increasing ionic character, we just arrange an order of electronegativity. So we actually have OF, whoops, no, OF less than CF, which is less than HF, which is less than NAF. And we can actually discuss what type of bonds they have. Um, so if you remember our bond range to tell us whether it's nonpolar covalence, okay, it's zero to zero point four. Polar covalent is zero to whoops is point four to one point six. Well I'll just say it's less than point four. To make it easier and ionic is greater than 2.0 all right and the range between um, polar and ionic is that from 1.6 to 2.0 theoretically is that if non-metal and metal it's still ionic okay so with that being said, although we have our order, we can see here that oxygen and fluorine, this is still going to be a polar bond, okay? Same with these. But this, hydrogen fluorine, it's 1.78. But hydrogen is a nonmetal and so is fluorine. So this is still just a polar bond, but it's a special type nonetheless. Not because it falls in the range, but if you recognize it, it's actually one of our hydrogen bonds. Okay? Because it's attached to a hydrogen with a fluorine. The three types of hydrogen bonds are nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And so that's one of them. NAF, as you can see here, is greatly uh, bigger than 2.0. So this is an ionic bond. And as you remember, 
Hydrogen bonds are stronger than polar bonds, but ionic bonds are stronger than hydrogen bonds. Hence how this range actually makes sense too. So let's see how we did. OF, CF, HF, NAF, perfect. So CF, OF, HF, NAF, exactly. So we definitely got that correct and it gives the highest value, it gives the highest ionic character of NAF specifically followed by C, um, sorry, uh, HF, because that's a hydrogen bond, which makes sense, then CF, and then lastly is OF. So this is correct. So now let's solve question four.